Hi guys, welcome to my channel once again. It's your girl by your that party heaven. So today I am going to be um doing a tutorial on how to um how I do my um balloon <clears throat> hoop. Um the, the gold hoop that you see around everywhere now. I know I've done a video of the finished look before, but I've not done an actual proper video, full video for you guys to, you know, learn from. And um, so I've got my inflator. Um so this is as you all know I have I've got the precision here. But because um, I've really packed up one time, and I've been able to fix it. But I've realized that um, since most of the time we get to do mostly organics, it's best I use this, um, this, you know, it's it's cost effective. I don't want to use the word cheap. Yeah, it's cheap anyway. I got it for like 20 something pounds and it's so good. I've been using it for a while now. I'm going to put, uh, you can find the brand, this this particular brand. It's really, a really good brand. You can find it in my, my um, Amazon store. And yeah, let me remind you, uh, my Amazon store, I've got loads and loads of stuff. Things I use in my designs, in my deco work in the store that you guys can buy so i would keep looking for stuff on amazon that i know i've used myself and i find them really good i'll be putting them in the store and um, so also you would find a gold hoop in that in my store that you can easily buy yes um when you buy from my store i get a commission back here so it would be great if you bought from the store and it's not just for you to just put in the basket and not purchase um i think you have limited time of me making something from it so it would be good for me thank you um so moving on um the colors i'm going to be using for this would be um would be um, pink, pastel pink. So I've double stuffed this. So this is a pink in white balloon. Um, and then I've got um, <clears throat> I've got winter green in white balloon. So that's gonna give me like a minty kind of look. And then I've got five inches mint green in white. Um, and then five inches pink in white. Um, I've got um, uh, pearl magenta and um, and burgundy. Yeah, so I've stuffed the burgundy into the pearl magenta. Um, I've not used these three colors before. Oh yeah, and I've got a pop color. This is um, I think this is um, um, uh, I've forgotten what the color is now. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, I would once I remember what the color is, I, I will put it in the um, description box below. Yeah, but I've stuffed it into white. Okay, yeah, I think this is um teal. Yeah. So yeah, teal. I put it in white. So I don't know what color it would. It would, it would be close to the mint kind of color. Yeah. So those are the colors. I'm using for this um, tutorial so I'm just going to inflate the balloons so you see how I inflate my balloons and get a hang of it uh, I'm going to put that in the time lapse so you know all right and thank you enjoy and um, so also a quick uh, mention the five inches I cannot inflate with this pump I've no I've, I've discovered that that you know the inflators can't really work with five inches so I tend to use my um, hand pump so I'll be showing you how I use that Stop. Don't stop, don't stop, don't 
So guys, um, I finished inflating all the balloons, so it's not time for us to um, put the balloons on the hoop. So my hoop comes in two pieces. Um, I've got, this is the top part. This is the top. It's two by two meters. And the base comes with, it has a really heavy base. I'm just gonna adjust the camera so you guys can see what the base is like. Can you see? So the base got like a very heavy base at the bottom. Um, the one in the Amazon shop that I'm gonna put the link below, you would find that the base is quite high. So it makes it easier for you to like, you know, arrange the bottom part with balloons. Um, so I'm just gonna like fit it onto the top, fit the top onto the base. So this goes in this way. <coughs> and the side comes in this way. All I need to do is just push it down. Um, So, and that's it. And then I've got screws to screw it to the to the um what's it called to the um to the side so both can come apart. Um, I'm not going to screw it now because it's a. Uh, I'm, I'm just this is just a tutorial and I'm at home. If it was at an event, I would have screwed it on the side because in case anyone you know stumbles upon it or something. Um, and then this part has got like um. Where the place where you would put a swing, I've got a cake swing that I could attach to it. Uh, but because this is at home, obviously, I'm not going to put in a cake on top of it. Um, yeah, so it comes with a swing, and it's, the swing is made out of um, uh, a metal pole, and then it's got like a, a, an acrylic base. I'm just going to show you that quickly. So this is what it looks like. Uh, so this is the swing. Yeah, this is the base. So it comes in the middle, and then this comes. So I just screw this both sides and then the, the, the swing comes in the middle it's really beautiful when it's set up um so that's about everything so we're going to start putting balloons now balloons so i <clears throat> like i said i inflated the balloons a bit bigger than the last time i did it um so i hope you enjoy so let's go i'm going to start from the top so and then i'll adjust the camera for the bottom so you can see what i'm doing well enough um, so the, like i said um the three colors i'm using is mint pink and burgundy. I've not tried these three colours together before. I hope it's as nice as I've imagined it to be. Um, so, I'm just going on. I know a lot of you would ask me, oh, where did you get the balloon bags from? Yeah, and um, the balloon bags, you can get them. I'm in London and I buy my supplies from, um, I could buy them from Tiny Feet Direct or Balloon Market or Go International and they've got loads of balloon bags there. So I'm going to start with the pink and mint. Starting at the top here. So I've seen some people um, do this with uh, what's it called? They um, they do it on a string and then attach it. But I think I prefer to, I prefer to wrap it around. I need to be careful because of the um, pretty stuff here from the the hole. So plenty of time to, you know, adjust and put everything in order. So now I'm just going to wrap the balloons around and then I can set them right afterwards. See, I'm wrapping this one together to so make it easier for me.
The intention is to like do a full hook. You see, I'm just randomly picking the balloons. this one around. Remember the colours I've used? I said I used mint. So it's um it's uh pink and white and about how and um, <clears throat> what it looks like at the moment the plan is to readjust everything at the end of the video i'm uh, sorry at the end of putting balloons together the main thing is just to put the balloons on first this hoop so many times but <laughs> it looks different and gives me a different vibe each time <clears throat> at first when i was going to do this color i wasn't sure about the two colors together but i think i like what i see at the moment i like the way that the three colors are um, coming together Like I 
excess at the end of you know putting all the balloons roundable everything can be you know adjusted the way you want it but just make sure you put all the balloons around first <clears throat> i've got cold i can do like many videos <clears throat> time. sorry guys yeah, i just have to do this video and complete it So this is a duplet, this is a duplet. And this makes a chord. Remember guys, four balloons makes a chord. So there's this thing I'm doing here. Um, I'm making sure I'm not using too much of a particular colour at each point. So, <clears throat> so that's the trick there. Just make sure you're when you're using three different three different colours or four different colours, um, try and you know mix the colours so they're like they they're, they're balanced to the eyes. You don't want too much of one colour at a particular place. I'm sure a lot of you guys will be wondering, okay, how many balloons am I using? To be honest, I, I did not count. I have that habit of not counting my balloons. But in my head, I always, what I do is, I know, like, <clears throat> if I was doing three colours, I would, um, I would buy, I would buy three different colours of balloons. I'm just going to adjust the camera so you can see what I'm doing at the bottom. So I buy three different colours. <clears throat> Sorry, if I was using three different colours, so what I would do is, I would buy... A bag of each color so if i'm double stuffing pink and white 11 inch um so i would buy one bag of 11 inches balloon one bag of um 16 inches um pink balloon one bag of 11 inches pink balloon and one bag of um yeah so yeah 11 inches and 16 inches i rarely use five inches because five inches are kind of like really um they're kind of like difficult to inflate it takes time to inflate them because you can't Inflate double stuffed. You know, I explained to you I had to use the hand pump when I was doing this balloons. So remember that it might not be that easy for you to like use five inches. So when you could use that eleven inches, but you just inflate it into small sizes and make sure you pull it back. You get, you know, you, you push it back up this way so that the color can come out. Don't stop, 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 don't stop
tricky to like you know cover this bottom side so what I would I would do is I'd use a you know a three foot balloon and some other small balloons and just make it so it could blend all over so it doesn't look like one part is bigger than the other part if you get what I mean um, so I'm just going to wing the bottom part so and then it's not like you have to um to do is just think outside the box so what i'm doing is i'm just using the smaller balloons because that's that can slide in easily so at least i can cover it up to where it, i can and then the you know the flat part i could just um push put the balloons on top of it because then it can lean on the balloons on either side
so it's all done now can you see simple and easy looks beautiful so thank you guys for watching this video please remember to subscribe share like tell me what you think um so i'm gonna put uh, um my amazon store link below and the links of um some of the supplies i've used today and the link for a balloon hoop um this can be done into a small table hoop um, but because it's time consuming, I think it's best to use it for a backdrop. It looks, you know, nicer and um, um, for the effort and the time you spend on it, it would be best to use it for like a backdrop. So thank you everyone once again. Um, so see you next time. Looking forward to your comments on this one and your questions. Bye for now.